Come and watch the grasshopper teach us something new today. Looking for compare and contrast activities? Check the description below for differentiated digital notebooks and printable activities. Perfect for stress-free planning. Let's begin. What is text structure? Text structure is how the author organizes the information they are writing about. The text structure lets you know the purpose of the text. It helps you figure out what the most important and useful information is. Text structures you might find in a nonfiction text are compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution, sequencing, and finally, description. Let's zoom in on compare and contrast. Why would a text compare and contrast? A text compares and contrasts to explain what is the same and what is different about two or more topics. When topics are being compared, the text will tell how they are alike. But when the topics are being contrasted, the text will tell how they are different. Here's an example sentence. Glasses and braces both fix a problem that a person has. The author is comparing since this sentence tells what the topics, glasses and braces, have in common. Here's another example. Glasses fix a problem with your eyes, but braces fix an issue with your teeth. The author is contrasting since this sentence tells what is different about the topics. Authors often use signal words to show what the text structure is. Comparing signal words connect to information that tells what's the same about the topics. Here's some signal words you may see for comparing. Like, similar to, also, same, likewise, similarly, both, and alike. In this sentence, the author used the signal word both to show comparing. Contrasting signal words connect to information about how the topics are different. Here are some signal words for contrasting. Differ, unlike, yet, but, as opposed to, instead, however, while, and on the contrary. In this sentence, the author used the signal word but to contrast. When you read, it can be really hard to keep track of all of this information. Highlighting or underlining signal words and the information they connect with can really help. Then it becomes easier to figure out the text structure. Now we will read a text called Keeping in Touch. As we read, see if you can find the signal words and connecting information that show this is a compare and contrast text structure. Keeping in touch. Making a phone call and texting are alike since they are ways to talk to people. We can share stories with others through both phone calls and texting. On the phone, we know how people are feeling by the tone of their voice. But in texts, we know their feelings by their typed words and emojis. What signal words and connecting information did you find? Pause the video to discuss. Let's see if you found everything. Here's the first signal word, alike, and this is the information it connects to. The next signal word is both, and here's the connecting information. But is the final signal word, and it connects to this. Highlighting the signal words lets us see that the overall text structure is compare and contrast. We can use the signal words to help us fill out a Venn diagram. What is a Venn diagram? Well, it's a type of graphic organizer that can be used for comparing and contrasting topics. It has two or more circles that overlap in the middle. To use this organizer, label each circle with one of the topics from the text. The middle inner section that overlaps is for comparing. This is where you write the information that is the same about the topics. The outer sections that do not overlap are for contrasting. This is where you write information that is only about one of the topics. 
Let's organize the information from the Keeping in Touch text by completing a Venn diagram. First, we label the diagram with our two topics, phone calls and texting. We only put information that is about phone calls on this side. And this is where we only put information about texting. In the middle, where the circles overlap, we can write the word both. This is where we will put what is the same about texting and phone calls. Let's look at the text again. The signal words alike and both are for comparing. So the information they connect with goes into the middle part of the Venn diagram. So let's write ways to talk to people and share stories in the middle. The signal word but is for contrasting. So we need to find the connecting information that is only about phone calls. We will write no feelings by tone in this circle. Then we need to find information only about texting. We can write no feelings by typed words and emojis into the circle labeled texting, as this is only true about texting. The Venn diagram is finished. We added all of the important information. Now we can easily see the information that is being compared and contrasted from the text. Now you're ready to find compare and contrast text structure in nonfiction texts. Thanks for watching our teaching video on comparing and contrasting. Don't forget to follow Grasshopper and shop our text structure resources. Check the description for more.